off me. She was all over me as we got here. Your turn now. Oh, we didn't do you too much damage, did we? I've never walked to anyone before, so I don't know the etiquette, and there was not time to ask. Have you seen the repair job they've done to Madge? What's the situation with Jack? She felt it was her responsibility to come to the rescue, but she didn't have the confidence or anything, so she decided to send off her application for Superhero College today. Right, let's have a look at the website. Got a laptop or something? I've got the internet on my phone. Ooh, get you! That's the one. Superheroes United, in a suburb of LA. There's last year's graduates. There's a site I never thought I'd see. Superman in a mortarboard. She's delusional. Right. Frederick. Lay your hands on as many biographies and autobiographies as you can find. That's stage one. Gladys Sweetkins. Mm -hmm. Go to my house mm -hmm. and fetch all the bound copies of Watchtower from 1975 to 2003. And then nip to the shop and get me a Mars bar. Don't look at me like that. The elders said that I could start by limiting myself to one chocolate bar a day. Let's move on out! So, I've sent off my application. Should be hearing back any day now. Before we start, look around you. What do you see? What do you see? Houses? And what do houses contain? Curtains? Dogs? Got it. Kettles. Householders. People who you can help with simple Bible truths. People whose lives you can save without dressing up in a silver suit or a cape, but with simple, honest Bible truths. Do you feel alright? I don't think that picnic would have been a day. I have two words for you. Life stories. Whose life stories? Well, whose do you think? <gasps> Banana man! And what life story he's got! And then, one day he couldn't find bananas, so he had to eat a banana sandwich, and he became banana sandwich man! And then, a couple of months later, he could only find a really, really old banana, and he became banana granddad! She's been like this all round the return visits. I'm sorry I mentioned it now. I don't understand why you mentioned it anyway. Because I'm your friend? Because I care about you? I don't see the link. What did you do last night? I watched X-Men 2. I'm gonna watch X-Men 3 tonight. The last stand. What else did you do? What is this? Yeah, I'm wondering that too. Life stories. Everyone's got one. Everyone that's ever lived has a life story, and there are plenty around. You mean like the origins of Wolverine, that sort of stuff? Life stories. They sell books, autobiographies, they make documentaries, films. Everywhere you look, someone's telling you their life story, whether you want them to or not. Most of them are horrible. Tawdry, kiss-and-tell exposés in a Sunday paper. But there are a strand of life stories that are free from gossip, speculation and embellishment. A strand of utterly true stories where all the good and bad bits are given equal measure. Have all three of you joined Encyclopedia Cells speech or something? Guard the hard cells or I will unleash the Galatians girl on the lot of you. Who would you say are your influences? Wonder Woman, Batman, all the Cape Crusaders, and Jehovah naturally. Notice, notice that you listed God fourth. So? Not first. My list was not in order of preference, it's just that Wonder Woman popped in my head first. I'm, I'm worried about you. Gladys is worried about you. We're all a tad concerned. I think... You're getting too involved in superhero movies, reading too many comic books. Well, as much as I love it, I can't watch Organized to Share the Good News every night. I'm not saying that. All right, then. Who 
you show me? You show me the scripture that says I'm not allowed to watch X-Men 3 The Last Stand. You know I can't. The film wasn't made when the Bible was written. Hoisted by your own petard. The Society doesn't publish a film guide. Saying avoid this, watch that. But we have principles, things we can discern. Blood, gore, violence, sexual immorality, spiritism. Psalm 11.5 Anyone loving violence, his soul certainly hates. It's chapter 6 in God's love book. There's an illustration of an apple. I like that illustration. Mm. I love apples. But th that's just scratching the surface. It's not just that you watch the X-Men. It's that you want to be the X-Men. You want to be Wonder Woman. And not just at a, a congregation barbecue for ten minutes in a skit. But all day, every day, to live the life of a superhero. And I will. I will live the life of a superhero. Once my application is accepted, I will never be helpless again. Have you actually looked at this superhero college, the information about it. I mean, really. You don't come back being able to fly. You don't come back being able to change clothes in an instant. Or be a caped crusader. Or fighting crime. No, you just learn to walk and talk, and you can do those things already. Did you see last year's graduation? The picture on the web? What did you see? Uh, four supermen. Six Spider-Man, seven Wonder Woman, and a, a He-Man. But no one original? No Galatians girl? No Colossians kid? Just ordinary copies, people who open supermarkets and perform at kids' parties. You can already do that. I want to save lives. I want to be the hero. What's so wrong about wanting to save lives? Nothing. It's very laudable. Well, it's, it's your decision. We can't stop you. But before you leave the congregation, before you leave the country, your friends, before you leave Jehovah, it's vital that you're in possession of as many of the facts as possible. It's a cold, hard world out there. I just want to make a difference. Okay. Say you save someone from a volcano. Next day, they walk out in front of a bus. Day after day. Even if you save them every day, they'll die in the end. No caped crusader can beat death itself. What we have is something better. Life without end at last. And we call on people. They listen. They take magazines, a Bible study, progress to baptism. And then when Jehovah brings an end to this system, they escape. A paradise earth with... An indefinitely lasting kingdom. It's not rocket science. It's not the all-conquering, look at me, of a superhero. Just the ordinary everyday actions of ordinary everyday witnesses of Jehovah under theocratic guidance. What are you saying? Superheroes, they're fine. For stories at a picnic or some such. But you can't live your life like that. It's impossible. I want a second opinion. 